I, I think like beyond the education part, like in between that is like, you got to engulf yourself into like the community, into learning. Um, you you combine that with taking action, but that's what you need to do. Like this has to be like a mindset thing. Like this is going to work. I'm going to figure out my first deal. Every single call that comes back from those mailers, I'm going to treat it as they are my $50,000 deal, whatever it is. So that's how you, you need to do it like that to be as efficient as possible. You cannot let deals throw it. And I'm trying to put my mind, my mind back in that like aspect of that's what we're doing with this episode. Like we don't have a ton of money behind us. Um, you have to attack every single deal, answer the phones yourself, do whatever, get every seller on the phone. I don't care if they were angry when they called in the first time, get them on the phone and see if they have a number that they're interested in attack every single deal. It's gotta be that mindset because that deal can be like your ticket, Dan. Yeah. You gotta be offensive. You, you can't be sitting back waiting for things to happen. And the difference when you talked around it's, it sparked something. The difference between education and no education is you send that 5,000 mailers with very little direction and mentorship and e-learning or whatever, you get a goose egg a lot of times because that's yeah. your learning period, right? Instead of instead of investing in some sort of education run and then having some sort of direction on how to actually send and price a blind offer and doing all that step-by-step run, that's the difference is a goose egg versus a few deals in my mind. So I wanted to pitch that out there. But yeah, you are going to get calls from this 5,000 mailers, be very, like Ron said, offensive on the phone and then texting. Let's get some cold text out, some follow-up text out. I would I would 100% do that because it is a cheaper alternative to mail, but you don't want to only do that because you want to combine them. It's a lot more time than it is money, but it's still expensive. It's not cheap to text on. But yeah, you send out, you know, consistently send out text every single day. I think it comes with 10,000 texts a month around launch control and direct skip as well. So you're, you're going to have to skip trace those, get the phone number, send out text. I would have to do a little bit of math to figure it out, but you should you should get a really, really good, you should get your feet under you with less than a thousand dollars of text drawn. Yeah. And that's where we're kind of, yeah. I mean, I think that makes a ton of sense and it's going to work if you guys are educating properly, taking action, being aggressive on the phones. Like I, I just don't see, let's go, let's go back a little bit, Dan. I want to kind of, did you have a, I want to talk a little bit about like area selection, like wh- what area we would choose. Cause like what we would do, that's the topic of this episode. Um, for me personally, I would not choose like too hot of a County. Don't you don't choose something right outside of Nashville, Charlotte, Atlanta, something like do not do that. You want to choose, you got to be selective with your market, choose a little bit of a slower area. Be able, those are going to have sellers that are more interested. Maybe your deal that you buy for 10,000 takes a little longer to sell, but you can sell it for 24,000 after three months because like it's a slower area. You got to market it correctly. That's what I would do particularly. I would choose something on like, we have like a hot area. We have a slow area. We have a middle ground somewhere between slow and like that middle area is what I would choose. Yeah. Cause that gives you the best odds of acquiring land under market value. And that's how we make money versus going into a Charlotte and going right outside of it where everyone else wants land for an investment opportunity. It just makes it harder to get. That being said, once you make your return on investment and are very profitable, I would go after some of those hotter markets for sure and put those in the mix. But to start out, we want to get you, Bob, or whatever your name is listening, your quickest deal, your quickest deal in the quickest amount of time with the most profit, Ron. And we know that number is going to look somewhere between acquisition from ten to forty thousand dollars acquisition, right? So we want to get a lot of ten to forty thousand dollar offers above two acres out there in those more rural, slower counties, not slow, slow in, in between. And we have a variety of ways we look for that. Like you got to look at what's for sale, what's sold, how long did that take to, did the average land take to sell? What's the days on market? What are we competing with, with five acres? If we buy what's five acres go for. And those are some things that we look at in the program, Ron, but that those are the markets you want to attack. And, and that's kind of what we agree on here. As always, thank you for joining. Please do us a huge favor and like and subscribe our YouTube channel and share this with a friend. It really means the world to Ron and I, but more importantly, it could help change the life of someone else. Thanks for joining and we'll see you next episode.